everybody, Zachary from Zachary Zoo Adventures. I am in Wichita, Kansas, and today I'm visiting the Sedgwick County Zoo. This is my first time coming here. I'm very excited to be here. I'm wearing my own hat. As you can see, my own Zachary Zoo Adventures hat. As I said before in my other videos, I love to wear this hat at all the places I go to. It protects my forehead from being burned from the sun. So it is a very beautiful day. I'm excited to be here. They are not giving any paper maps, so I'm going to go if I can see if I can find a stationary map, and then we'll see which way we get ahead. All right, so this here is the map of the whole zoo. It's a pretty good size zoo, so I am right over here by the entrance. I'm going to head up to the trail past the flamingos. Then I'm going to go head over here to the African farm at the children's farms. And then I'm going to head up to Penguin Cove. And hoping to see lots of animals today. Alright, first up we got Greater Flamingo. And American Flamingo. The flamingos of the world. And the art of eating upside down. There's all the flamingos. The greater flamingos are the white ones, and the American flamingos are the ones that have the most pink feathers in them. And, yeah, and the American flamingos are also one of the tallest flamingos. There's a couple of I got the children's farms. I got yak. I see two of the yak of the yak. I got the African farm. Now I got dromedary camel, charcoal sheep, and Indian runner duck. So I see the ducky. See two ducks. You can see there's a dromedary camel in the back. It's also known as the one hump camel. And here are all the goats, and the goats are and sheep are actually separated from the camels. See some of the goats right here. And I do believe that's the sheep right there. The goat just got up and he's walking inside. We got American guinea pig and holy Watusi cattle. Geyer zebu and Sebastopol goose. Let's see, is the American guinea pig? <laughs> This is what to see cattle on the back. And those horns must be very heavy for him because you can see it's tilting his head. So those horns must be very heavy for him. You can see the Geyer Zebu on the left and the Watusi on the right. Second Watusi cattle right here. Here we got domestic guinea fowl. The two guinea fowls here. Third one just laying down and got that box there. I got domestic water buffalo. See the water buffalo having some hay. And we got another side view of the buffalo. a beautiful animal. So I'm showing you the map again, as you can see right where I'm at. I am right over here where this red dot thing is. So I always do my best to show you the map to make sure where I'm at because it makes it much easier. So I'm heading up to Casena Penguin Cove. Then I'm going to make my way up past reptiles and amphibians and then I'm gonna head past to Stingray Cove and to the tropics. Then I'll continue my way down the path to here up to North America. Alright, welcome to South America. Here we got the 
Cessna Penguin Cove. Rocky Coast. Rocky Coast and her tidal creatures. <laughs> Named a Humboldt Penguin. Grey Gull. And Inca Turn. You see the penguin right up close here. More penguins. Don't you see this? The Inca turn right there. And the rock. And the penguins do have lots of water for them to be in. I see the gray gull just, just flew by. This is this penguin right here swimming in the water. This one's swimming right towards me. Here's more of the Inca turns up on the ledge there. There's some more penguins here. We got penguins of the world. So the different types of penguins. It's also the Humboldt penguin right over here, which is what they have here at the zoo. Right, we got amphibians and the reptiles. We got Gulf Coast spiny soft shell, river cooter, razorback and musk turtle, yellow blotched map turtle, Pascagoula map turtle. American Bullfrog, the North American River Bank, Long Nose Dar, Spotted Dar, Short Nose Gar, Green Sunfish, and Golden Shiner. This is the American Bullfrog, is right here. The swimming in the water. See one of the turtles right here on the bottom. One of the other smaller turtles. Here I got Rainbow Whip Tail and Collared Tree Runner. As I see both of them in the tree. It's like the Collared Tree Runner on the right and the Rainbow Whip Tail on the left. Green keel bellied lizard. I see the lizard is climbing down from a tree. There's two of them. I didn't see a second one. Actually, two of them there. It's kind of hard to see, but there is two of them. One of them on the tree there, and there's one climbing down. There's a second one. And got Pops Castilian. Castilians right here up at the wall. You <laughs> got magnificent tree frog and rough scaled python. You see the pythons up in the tree. I just see two of the tree frogs. There's one great hair to the tree. I see there's a second one on the rock. We got Quang Tongue River Turtle, Pan's Box Turtle, and Yellow Pond Turtle. There's the Pan's Box Turtle swimming in the water. I believe right over here is the Long Tongue River Turtle. I see the third one in the back. I believe that's the Yellow Pond Turtle. See right there. We got Tentacled Snake. Tentacled Snake. Right there. We 
Kevin got Gain's egg-eating snake. And Togo's slippery frog. Did a Gain's egg-eating snake up at the tree. You can see the Togo slippery frog. He's underneath the rock so you can kind of see his eyes. We got dying dart frog. You can see a couple of them. Two of them on the ground there. There's also one on the tree. Another one's right there. See him once up here in the tree. Here we got Chinese alligator, Asian grass carp, and a mer carp. The Chinese alligator up on land here. You can see some of the fish down here. Not sure if this is a young carp or it's not a carp at all, because it just looks like it's a carp. I see there's a second Chinese alligator right in the water. Usually when you see an alligator or a crocodile in the water, usually they have their heads poking up out of the water and their tail on the bottom. Here we got four-eyed turtle and Chinese crocodile lizard. There's a four-eyed turtle in the water. is a Chinese crocodile lizard. We got blessed poison frog. There's a poison frog right there. Here's a second frog. We got black breasted leaf turtle. Mandarin rat snake and black spine toad. The mandarin rat snake is moving around. And you see the black spine toad. And see, there's a second toad right there. Black breasted leaf turtle. The second turtle right there. Completely missing. There's another toad here, right over here, and there is a four, third one. Looks like there's also a second mandarin rat snake in the back. We got the Kanawa newt. I see there's all the newts here. There's even some underneath the rock. The con knob scaled lizard. You see him right there in the rock. So, this is a newt. Great tree frog. And shovel nose salamander. And the great tree frogs up in the tree. The great tree frog is up there. Alright, so I'm looking everywhere and I'm not really seeing the shovel nose salamander anywhere. I think a northwestern alligator lizard. Alright, so I looked everywhere and I did not see the northwestern alligator lizard anywhere, so it's probably hiding really well. It's just somewhere behind all these rocks. I got a rubber boa. It's a bunch of them. More of them all curled up together. We got Eastern Hellbender. He's right up close here. Usually these guys are hiding behind rock or just camouflage. And this is the first time I've seen them out in the open. Here we got Spotted Turtle and Bog Turtle. See, there's the spotted turtle. 
Chick is trying to get up on that rock. The rock turtle right there. And the spa turtle. Ooh, that Jamaican iguana. I see there's one in the tree. You can see that status and their habitat. Look at King Cobra. Oh, why the hoochie? They're both critter and prey. King Hunter. Super size. It's a volume of venom. Alright, I see the King Cobra. is all curled up in the back. Up against the wall. We got African green toad and Egyptian tortoise. There's the Egyptian tortoise right there. See, there's the green toad at the bottom right there beneath that cave. We got Sonoran spiny tailed iguana. And Sonoran Desert Toad. There's a toad right there. I think I see the iguana. We got Armenian Viper. I see there's one up in the class right here. Second one's right there. We got Gila Monster and Chakwala. So there's a Gila Monster right here. The Chakwala right there. We got Iberian Rib Newt. See the newt is right there. We got carrot tail viper gecko. Alright, so I found the gecko, but he's right there. He's very, very tiny. And he's right there. We got chihuahua and green toad. There's a bunch of them in here. We got Carson Plated Lizard. Let's see, is a Carson Plated Lizard. Two of them. We got Long Nose Snake. Oh, I see the snake. He's right there. I almost completely missed him, but he's right there. We got Trinkleback Skink. And spiny tailed monitor. You see, there's a skink right here, and that's the monitor right there. And it looks like the skink is molting off his old skin. I think that's Saharan sand fiber. So I almost missed it, but he's right there. You see, there's this body right there. He blends in so well. The viper is right there. We got Cape Coral Snake. I see the Coral Snake. He's actually right back underneath that little bush there. You can kind of see his skin right there. We got Barnett's Lance Head. So I don't see the lance head anywhere, so he's probably somewhere in the back behind all these rocks. Not and golden garter snake. So, so I do see him, he's right out there here under this rock. And I think there's also a second one in the back, you can't see his skin. Not long nose viper. Long nose viper's right there. I do see a second one in the back. Yeah, Egyptian soft scale fiber. It's like completely missed him, but he's right here. 
Playboy snake. So I almost missed him. You can see his tail right there. See those are their heads. And a black mamba. Some information about the black mamba. Okay, it's his tail right there. Let's see if there's the rest of him right over there. His head. We got Eastern Green Mamba. The Eastern Green Mamba's right there. In the tree. We got Indo Chinese Spitting Cobra. There's one in the tree. Second one in the ground there. We got the Boon Viper. More information about the Gaboon Viper. Okay, the Viper right here in the ground. These guys have the largest fangs of any other Viper in Africa, or in this case, in the world. You know, Aldabra Tortoise. These are the tortoises. They're all tortoise there. So I'm showing you the map again so you can see where I'm at. I am up here by the reptiles and amphibians. I'm gonna head over to Stingray Cove. Now I'll make my way to North America and that'll take me over here to the Downing Gorilla Forest. Alright, we got the tropics. Alright, tropics, and we go. We got birds of the tropics. Over here is the aviary with all different types of birds. You can see one of the birds right there. It looks like that's the Victoria ground pigeon. We got Placostomus and white spotted river ray. The sea is a ray. The Placostomus in the water. The sea is another one of the rays. A Guam Kingfisher. See, there's the Kingfisher. You can see there's the male on the right and the female on the left. You can see there's the Kingfishers right there. See, there's the female on the right and the male on the left. We've got a brittled white eye. Mariana Fruit Dove. And see the Fruit Dove is up there. So there's a white tie up there. See, there's a Mariana fruit dove up in the tree. We got Guam rail. Guam rail's right there. This is one of the birdies. These are birds that live in the free flight aviary. We got Sunda wrinkled hornbill. Horned bills up at the top. On that branch. We got greater Indian fruit fat. We got red tailed giant gourami. Fly river turtle. Australian lungfish. Queensland Red Claw Yabby and Northern Snake Neck Turtle. There's the Gouramis right here. From the other beautiful fish in here. It's a nice tank. Then got Australian Lungfish. Spotted Scat. Silver Mooney. Fly River Turtle. Empire Gungeon. Silver Mooney. Seven spot archer fish, spotted scat, the men's rainbow fish, and Queensland red cod yappy. The fly river turtle right there. We've got the dubic right here. The rainbow fish. The red tailed silver side, pinstripe damba, giant danio. 
Adisa Barb and Red Gara. Uh, this is a nice tank. Some of the fish right there. Next tank. We have Pinstripe Damba. Mara Kelly. Green Chromadide. Denison Barb. And Red Gara. Another nice fish. We got Mara Kelly. Pinstripe Damba. Adisa Barb. Giant Danio. And Red Gara. For the fish. We got Cuban Crocodile. Alright, it's the Crocodile's Habitat. And I'm looking in the water, and the water is very murky, so I'm not really seeing it anywhere. Alright, we got Stingray Cove. Alright, Stingray Cove. We got Southern Stingray. Pounder Stingray, White Spotted Bamboo Shark, Broad Banded Bamboo Shark. Oh, there's a bamboo shark right there. And this is a touch tank, and you're allowed to touch and feed these sprays. But I didn't not purchase any tickets to touch and feed them, so I'm just here to show them to you. Oh, that's the White Spotted Bamboo Shark. Stingray. I also see some of the other sharks. You can see its tail is actually right under here. You see the southern stingray here. Pound of rays. We've got a rays here. The cow nose rays. We got reticulated giraffe. Some information about the giraffes. Some giraffes have a really nice habitat. There's two of them right there. Has a giraffe feeding station. Okay, so I'm showing you the map again so you can see right where I'm at. I'm right here by the giraffes. So I'm going to go on the North America loop, then go to the Asian Big Cat track. Then I'll flip my way through here. Starting at Africa, get out from the Gorilla Forest, and I'm gonna make my way down to off Africa here, and then it'll take me to Australia and South America. This says in addition to the map, they also have signs because I'm gonna head towards the left to Asian Big Cat Track down in Gorilla Forest. All right, North America. I got Grizzly Bear. All right, so unfortunately, there's a sign stating that the Grizzly bear is off habitat, so I'm not going to be able to show it to you. So that's what they look like, so unfortunately it's a no-go for today. That's another view of the grizzly bear habitat. Yeah, it's a bummer, I'm not going to be able to show it to you today. We got black bear. Yeah, it's a black bear who's just in the water, you can, can, can tell his fur is all wet. Yeah, I see it. You see, there's a little water bowl that he was just in. I got River Otter. I see the otter swimming around in the water. The otter just having lots of water for him to be in. The otter swimming around. And the otter does have a really nice habitat. Well, scums have a little slide for him to go on. We got white-tailed deer. I see the deer. She's just laying down right here. And the white-tailed deer does have a really good size habitat. And got small predators of the prairies. We got black-footed ferret. We 
I see him laying down right there. That's me right in here taking a nap. He got a northern black tailed rattlesnake. He's right there. He got banded rock rattlesnake. And Arizona Ridge Nose Rattlesnake. I see there's the Ridge Nose Rattlesnake. He's right there. He's moving around. It's a banded rock rattlesnake. It's also a second Ridge Nose Rattlesnake. We got Osage Copperhead and Timber Rattlesnake. There's the Osage Copperhead. There's a timber rattlesnake. And a prairie rattlesnake. The rattlesnake is right here. And here we got cinnamon teal, American widgeon, marble teal, blue winged teal, red crested poacher, northern pintail, and North American ruddy duck. The other duckies. This one swimming in the water. Like I didn't let them cry. <laughs> Some more ducks. More from the back. And so they just they were There's a ducky right here. We got bald eagle. The bald eagle is right there. It's a beautiful bird. We got American elk. Oh, you can see the elk. You see, it looks like he's shedding off his winter coat and growing his new antlers. You can see some of the female elk. Two of them. Here comes the male elk. Hi, yo. Hello. Hi, guys. Nice. There's also a third female elk, but unfortunately, it's behind a tree. You can kind of see its rear end right there. Wow, that's a very beautiful elk. It's a very majestic animal. We got second bald eagle habitat. There's a second bald eagle. He's got a very nice habitat. We got Mexican wolf. So this is the Mexican wolf's habitat. It's very nice. Lots of trees in the way, so I'm gonna try and find them. All right, so I found the wolfies. They're all the way in the back. Actually taking a nap. All right, so this is another side view of the Mexican wolf exhibit, and I was hoping to get a good view of it, but with all, all these trees in the way, it's kind of hard to see them, so I'll check back here a little later to get a better view of them. Nice. You can kind of see the wolfies all the way in the back laying down. So hopefully when I come back here a little later, I'll hope to get a better view of it and I'll see them moving around. Yeah, so the wolves have a really good sized habitat. Here we got American bison. Wow, this is really nice. See all the bison are laying down. There's actually a calf that's with them right there. I can see there's a baby bison right there. The bison's additional habitat. The bison can actually go right underneath the bridge, and that's why you can see them on the other side. And got Cougar Canyon. And got Cougar. This is a cougar's habitat. It's very nice. Yes, the cougar is out, but he's behind this red tree there. 
So he's there. He's just all the way in the back. Kind of hard to see him there. I actually completely did not see it, but there's two of them facing each other. Having a cat nap. Just right over here, I got a close up view of the bison. A black tail prairie dog. Just over here, looks like he's about to do some construction. See all the prairie dogs are out. Here, making little noises. Oh, this is a nice habitat for the prairie dog. Do some right here. We're everywhere. All right, Asia. All right, Asian big cat track. All right, we got Amaral leopard and snow leopard. Oh, this habitat's really nice. I do see the Amaral leopard. It's up at the top. Just chill now, it's up there. Uh, so this habitats here also has different ramps that lead to the different habitats. So the snow leopards and the Amaral leopards actually rotate through the habitats at different times. You can see the snow leopards in this habitat. I'm assuming that the snow leopards in this habitat here. You can see the Amaral leopards upstairs. You can see its paws. The Amaral leopards they have here. Here are the two um, snow leopards they have here at the zoo. We got Jada and Tashi. Oh, this here is the second habitat for the Amuro leopard. It's actually a second Amuro leopard there. Almost kind of looks like a snow leopard, but that's actually the Amuro leopard. Yeah, so there's multiple habitats here. So they actually switch the habitats at different times each day. So I don't think the snow leopards are in this habitat, but I'm going to see if I can find them. And if not, they're probably going to be in these other habitats here. This habitat's nice. Let's just see the other habitat here for the snow leopard. And I'm trying to find the snow leopard, but I'm just not having any luck finding it. Some information about the Amaral leopard. Information about the snow leopard. Yeah, this is the habitat for the snow leopard. It was one of the multiple habitats, and as I said before, they switch the habitats at different times. And hopefully, there'll be multiple viewing years where we'll be able to see the snow leopard. This, this habitat has a third Amur leopard. I mean, catnap right there. It's really cute. Close up view of the Amur leopard having a cat nap. <laughs> Close to the glass here. Yeah, so I'm not seeing the snow leopard anywhere. I can only see are three of the Amur leopards. So I will try to check back here a little later to see if the snow leopard's out. We got Amur tiger. Here's a tiger habitat. I'm not quite seeing it anywhere, but hopefully there will be another view where I'll be able to see it. Oh, oh, big I'll cat behavior. Thank you, thank you. I see the Amur tiger right there. It's in the bushes. You can see his paws. You got red panda. Red panda's right there. We got Tiger Observation Station. We got Disappearing Home. It's got a critically in danger. It's a real travesty in nature. So there is the Tiger Habitat. We did see him inside those bushes there. Then down. Then there's the Tiger. In the back right there. I can kind of see it. And then Natasha. 
the tiger has a really good size habitat. It's a disappearing treasure. The Caspian tiger is extinct and the Bali tiger and Javan tiger is extinct. It's very sad. Chinese tiger probably extinct in the wild. It's very sad. It's an additional habitat as a second aimer tiger. It's having a cat nap. A home sweet Himalayan home. Here's another side view of the red panda habitat. Another view of the Amber Tiger's additional habitat. Here's another view of the Red Panda. Oh, he's super cute. So I'm showing you the map again so you can see where I'm at. I just finished doing the Asian Big Cat track. So I'm going to head up here to the Gorilla Forest. Then I'll make my way down the trail to Africa. i also pass the Pride of the Plains and then it'll take me to over here to Australia and South America then over to the Koch orangutan or chimpanzee habitat and got the head down in gorilla forest and got colobus monkey some information about the colobus monkey well, the colobus monkey is actually one laying down great there the young one right there See, there's a third one. <laughs> and there's the fourth one. Alright, the Denna Gorilla Forest Reserve. Alright, Gorilla. Oh, I like this habitat. Let me go see if I can find the gorillas. Alright, Gorilla Forest Reserve. You know, lowland gorilla and eastern gorilla. And the eastern gorilla I don't think I've seen before out of other zoo. And usually I'd see the lowland gorilla. And there's a gorilla's indoor habitat. And they're inside. They're actually right up there by the air conditioning staying cool. There's another one up there, that bale of K. Yeah, so it's the animal's choice if they want to be outside or inside, then it's much cooler inside. <laughs> There's another gorilla right up there. <laughs> the gorilla is just walking around. It's very active. There's another view of the gorilla's outdoor habitat. There's actually some outside. There's another one right here. We got black crowned crane. And a copy. We also got saddle build stork. And I see the cranes right there. And you have copies in the back. Two of them. This is actually an additional habitat for the old copies. There's the saddle build storks over there. Two of them. We've got a white pelican. So the pelicans here. And usually when I'm at the beach, I'd see the brown pelicans. Two more from over here. Oh my God! All right, entering Southern Africa. And we got the Reed family elephants of the Zambezi River Valley. Here's some information about the elephants. More information about the elephants. <laughs> At Camp Zambezi. Alright, do you see some African elephants? See two of them. There's 
and there are some right there. Just walk in. You can see more of the African elephants. Some of my number one favorite animals to see at the zoo. This is the elephants they have here at the zoo. Oh, That's a very sad fact. <laughs> yes, the elephants have a really good sized habitat. There's one right there. Unfortunately, it's a behind the scenes view of them. For her. It looks like that one's there is getting a snack, looks like. over there. Got okay, a fantastic habitat for the elephants. Got a lot of space for them to roam around. Man, it is really nice. There's another view of the elephant habitat. We have a very nice pool and a waterfall there for them. Alright, entering East Africa, Pride of the Plains. Alright, I've got a meerkat. Alright, so I see the meerkat is all the way in the back. So hopefully, I'll be able to get back there and get a good view of them. Yeah, so all the meerkats are actually in the back. we got a red river hog. I see the red river hog. There's two of them. Second one right over there. Closer view of the Red River Hogs. And that one's there eating some hay. That's another view of the elephant. So I'm walking right up here. Man, these are so beautiful animals. It's like he's coming up, or she's coming up. Not quite sure if this is one of the males or the females. It looks like he's trying to get some of the grass here. Trying to get the grass. He oh, got it. He's trying to get some of the grass there. I got the elephant boma. I see the elephant's indoor habitat here. And all the workers are in here cleaning it up. So all the elephants are outside at the moment because the weather is very nice. I got African lion. lion. Alright, see the lion nest is right here getting a drink of water. The male lion right there. I'm gonna catch nap. There we go. I got a good view of the male lion. The lion nest is standing up. It's another view of the lion's habitat. It's a red river hog. You have two of the hogs. And I see the meerkats. It's an additional habitat for them. There's one right there standing up. Look like that was the lookout. Making sure there's no predators. Some other ones laying around. And also one goes flat on his belly. Another side view of the lion habitat. Oh, that's a nice habitat. 
And that zebra carcass you see in the habitat is not a real one, that's just a reproduction. As a way of showing us what lions will be doing out in the wild. We got African painted dog. Let's see the doggies. So the African painted dogs there. It's another view of them. Very active. Make me miss my dogs at home. Here making some noises. So here we got common ward hog and Griffey zebra. And this is the habitat for them. You see the zebras are right over there. And got the safari deck. Another view of the warthog and zebra habitat. Second zebra right here. Yeah, another view of the zebra. Alright, so I looked everywhere and I don't really see the warthog anywhere, so I'll check back here a little later to see if he's out. And then we got blue craned and marabou stork. Just to see the blue cranes. Two of them. So the different types of zebras. And I've seen pretty much all three of these zebras at all the zoos I've gone to. And there's the marabou stork. There we got hippopotamus. There's two of the hippos right here. Some pretty big hippos. There we got black rhinoceros. Some information about the black rhinos. As I'm looking, I do see the rhinos. I see two of them on the back. Looks like it's just a mom and her calf. It's not really a calf anymore, but he still looks very young. So we've seen pretty much all three of my favorite animals at the zoo. So the elephants, hippos, and now the rhinos. We got Caracol. Caracol's in there. Staying cool. Over here from the other side view the giraffes. There's one right there. And over here is the African Velt. Fortunately, it says the building is closed off because it's also the indoor view of all the different animals. Because all the animals are outside at the moment. Alright, Australia. We got double wattled cassowary. This is the cassowary's habitat. So I'm trying to find it and I'm not seeing it, but hopefully there should be multiple views as I'm going through the habitat. Alright, so I found the cassowary. He is all the wings in the back. The wallaby crossing. And you got Tawny Frog Mouse and Eastern Rosilla. And here instead, I don't see the Rosilla or the Frog Mouse. Instead, all I see is a parrot. There's a Tawny Frog Mouse up in the tree here. There's three more of the Tawny Frog Mouse. We also got Pacific Black Duck and Chestnut Teal. Now Laughing Kookaburra. I see two of them. They were just laughing a few minutes ago. We got Pied Imperial Pigeon, Australian Shoveler, Pink Eared Duck, and Salmon Crested Cockatoo. 
This is the Pied Imperial Pigeon. Two of them in the tree. Some of the duckies. And there we got Straw Necked Ibis. Pacific Black Duck. Black Swan. Chestnut Teal. And Australian Shuffler. Yeah, so this here is a free flight aviary, so all the birds have access to be wherever they want. Let's see, there's the ibis, the straw necked ibis. This is really nice. Yeah, a second double wattle cassowary. I'm trying to find it. I'm assuming we saw it in the other habitat, and this is just a secondary habitat for it. Got Wallaroo and Emu. There's a Wallaroo. There's three of them laying down together. Got Black Swan. So I'm not really seeing the Black Swan anywhere, so it could be anywhere. Alright, so I see the Emu. He's all the way in the back. He can see his head poking up. A Kia. Alright, so I'm looking everywhere for the Kia and I don't see it anywhere. No, no, wait, wait. I see it. He's in the back. I see him right there on the tree. He got Tamara Wallaby. Alright, so I'm trying to find the Wallaby and I do not see it anywhere. So it's definitely hiding really well. It's probably just inside that little den there where it's cooler. Alright, South America. And here's some birds in here. Looks like there's some yellow and crowned Amazon parrots. Some very pretty birds. We got red-footed tortoise. And spectacled owl. We also got green iguana. And yellow-footed tortoise. The red-footed tortoise. Right there. The spectacled owl is up in the tree. I see the green iguana. He's up in the tree. It doesn't seem like there's anything in this habitat here. Uh, it looks like this used to be home to the giant anteater, but it says there's no animals in this habitat. I see the yellow footed tortoise right there. You can see a shell. I see another iguana in the grass there, but it doesn't look like it's a green iguana. The second red footed tortoise on the move. You got a guinea and squirrel monkey. He's right up there. That's Southern Screamer. Southern Screamer right there. And got Puna Ibis. And Spoonbill right here. Not the Puna Ibis. And a bunch of them. Here we got white cheeked pigtail, green winged macaw, coast goroba swan, blue and yellow macaw, and Argentine ruddy duck. I see the green winged macaws are on the tree and they're squawking very loud. The blue and yellow macaws there. Third one up in the tree. There's some other birds in here. So many of these are conures. There's another bird there. There's another macaws there. I'm assuming those are military macaws. We got Chico and Peccary. I see two of the piggies sleeping here. And there's a piggy right there. We 
We got capybara. We also got blue and yellow macaw, which we saw in the other habitat. Hi, yes, and some macaw. Alright, so I'm not really seeing the capybara anywhere. Oh, oh wait. I see him there. I almost missed him. There's two of them. One right there. The second one. There's also a stork right there. I believe it's a wood stork. We got Poodoo. I see the Poodoo. He's in the back. It's very tiny. Some macaws right here. Looks like these are scarlet macaws. Here's another side view of the Chicoans peccaries. This one grazing around. There's a high essence macaw and also a great green macaw looks like on the other side. And I can see the military macaw. Well, I believe it's a military macaw. You know, white nose coatie. I see the coaties. He's up there. We got Galapagos tortoise and Aldabra tortoise. I see two of them. The Aldabra tortoise is the one with the more longer shells, and the Galapagos have the round dome-like shells. Aldabra tortoise is in the water. Galapagos tortoise right here. We got the Koch orangutan and chimpanzee habitat. We got orangutan. The orangutan's indoor habitat. This is the orangutan right there. Looks like the big male. And the male over here is just swinging around. The mom like picked the baby up because she got separated because she had a C-section. There's a young one right there, I just walked away. Yeah. Alright, we got chimpanzee. Yeah, it's the chimpanzee's indoor habitat. And I do see one up there. I'm assuming that the other ones are outside. This is the chimpanzee's outdoor habitat. And I see one right there. To learn. The swollen bottom. There's a chimpanzee laying down right there. There's also one right down there. This is a chimpanzee sleeping right there. You can see the orangutan from right over here. And it tells the different species of orangutans. Doing life in the trees. There's the orangutan swinging around right here. Mm. The chimps do have a really nice habitat. Here's another side view of the orangutan habitat. And up there. Alright, so I'm back in near the front of the entrance where I started. So that is going to conclude my initial walk through around the zoo. So now I'm going to take this opportunity to do a rewalk and perhaps get some better views of some of the animals I missed the first time. There weren't many animals I missed the first time, but hopefully I'll get some better views of some of them and perhaps get a good chance of seeing the animals I missed the first time. All right, so I'm back at the bison and one of them standing up now. It looks like one of them is actually nursing from its mom here. So I'm back at the cougar and he's up and moving around. Uh -huh, so I also do not see the second cougar. There's actually two of them when I first came through today. And I do not see the second one anymore. And all I see is the first one. So take that back. I see the second one. He's on top having a cat nap. The other one's just walking around. Sometimes it always pays to come back to an animal 
Especially if you didn't see the first time, or if it just wasn't very active, go back a little later. Okay, so I just saw the wolf was walking around. So hopefully it'll be in the review where I'll be able to see it. Alright, I see the wolfies up and walking around. It's a cute wolfie. See the other two wolves in the back. It's kind of hard to see with all the trees in the way. All right, so I see the emerald leopard moved. It's up on the ramp here. All right, so I'm still trying to find the snow leopard, and I'm not really seeing it anywhere. I came back hoping to see if the snow leopard is out, but I'm not quite seeing them. I see the second emerald leopard moved. Having a cat nap up there. So unfortunately, the snow leopards are no go for today, and that is what they look like. It's unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show it to you. Okay, so I'm back at the hippopotamus, and they moved a little. A closer look at the hippos. So I came back to see if the warthog is out, but I still did not see him anywhere. I can always see the zebras. And the zebras are just grazing on some grass. So unfortunately, it's a no-go today. We did see lots of meerkats today, and I tried to get your video of Pumba, but fortunately, it was not out. So this is what they look like, just in case you've never seen it before. Or in case you never saw the movie Lion King, for that matter, but that is what they look like. Look so over here is the oh, underwater view of the hippopotamus. The water's very murky, but you can still kind of see the hippo right here. Like Wait, you can kind of see the hippo me? butt. Yeah, I can see the hippos right there. Fortunately, it's a rear end view of it. A river horses. Alright, so I came back to see if the black rhinos move, and they're still pretty much in the same spot they were in before. Alright everyone, that is going to do it for my visit to the Sedgwick County Zoo in Wichita, Kansas. I had a really fantastic time coming here. A really cool variety of animals here. Especially like the children's zoo with the buffalo and camels, which is really nice. And especially like uh, the black bears and the grizzly bear, which unfortunately I was not able to show you because I did not get to see everything here. Because the snow leopard was a no-go. And there's also the warthog was a no-go. I looked everywhere and I just couldn't get a video it for you so i had a fantastic time coming here leave some t comments down below of what was your favorite animal i saw today if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to my channel i have new videos coming up every saturday 8 a.m central standard time so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you again next time bye